Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. Here we are again in my happy place. And I'm going to do um, a salad today. And y'all, I like pasta just about any way you fix it. I like it. I like raviola. I like egg noodles. I like spaghetti. I like pasta in salads. I just like pasta. So today I'm going to do a Greek pasta salad that is really good. And I'm going to use uh, Ken's Greek salad dressing, or he called it Greek with feta, cheese, and black olive dressing. If you don't have this, just use Italian dressing, um, and it's good. I'm going to put, I'm going to boil my um, spiral pasta until it's tender, and then I'm going to wash it to get as much of the starch off of it as I can where it will clump together. And then we will put um, all of the vegetables in it that we're going to use. So I've got my water boiling. I'm going to get my pasta in the water with a little salt. Get it tender. Then I'll probably bring y'all over to the sink while I wash it. And then we'll get our salad assembled. It's going to be something different that you can use. There's a lot of stuff. You know, we're in wintertime right now. But spring's coming. And there will be... Uh, little gatherings and tea parties and ladies get-togethers and Mother's Day. This is a good salad for one of those days. You know, used to when I was younger, we all had parties because we was poor. That's the only way we could get the stuff we wanted was to have a party and get our stuff free. Besides that, it was fun. And salads were, oh man, if you could come up with a new salad to serve at your party, you was really the bomb diggity. So this is a good salad for y'all to try with a ladies gathering, it's good with barbecue, it's good with anything. So let me get it in the uh, pot where this will get soft and done and then we'll get on with the show. Now here's the brand that I used, but I've also used the Skinners. It's just the tri-colored spiral pasta that you're wanting to use. So I was just going to let y'all see what I've got going. Got my colander in the sink waiting to go. My pasta's While the cooking. pasta's cooking, I was going to show y'all. I've got some black olives. Just a sweet yellow onion, cucumber, red and green bell peppers, and some cherry tomatoes halved. Um, and I want to show y'all something about these olives. If you want to slice a whole olive in half, just hold it between your finger like that and just slice it while you're holding it and then you can pick both halves up and put them in there. If you start trying to hold it down here and slice it, it's going to mash and hop all around. So just hold it between your fingers, slice it, and put it in there. Just a quick little tip that makes it easier to handle. I'm going to use some Cavender's Greek seasoning. If you can't get this, that's okay. Just season it to taste for yourself, but I am going to use this. And what are some of the ingredients? Salt, black pepper, garlic, uh, oregano, parsley and other flavorings, onion powder, garlic powder, it just stuff that you can mix up yourself but I like it already mixed. I use this in my tuna and in my chicken salad. It makes a great and I've already told you I'm going to use the Ken's Steakhouse uh, Greek dressing but you can use, I've made it before, before I found this, I made it with just Italian salad dressing. So the pasta is full and it's got about six minutes left and then I'll drain it and we'll get on with the show. Okay, I've got my colander here and uh, my pasta is done and it's tender. I cooked it about eight minutes. And all I'm going to do is stand here with cold water and wash this pasta and then when it gets cool enough I'm just going to get in it with my hands like this. And you just want to kind of wash it till it does not feel slimy anymore. And that way when you make your salad out of pasta, regardless of what kind it is, you want to wash it. That keeps it from getting in just one big clumpy mess when you uh, when it cools down and you put it in the ice box to keep it for a day or two. I'm just going to continue to wash it till I get it all. I feel like I've got most of the you can kind of look at what's coming out the bottom down there and when it's not cloudy anymore, you know that you have most of the starch out. But just wash it real good because all it is is a vehicle. To, in other words, you, you aren't washing the flavor out because this is just a vehicle that's going to carry all of the flavors. 
of your salad. So you don't have to worry about when you wash it, you're afraid you're washing all the taste off of it. You fix to put the taste on it. So let me get over here to the boost block and we'll finish the salad. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, red and green bell peppers. And that's probably about a half a cup of each. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of black olives that I've sliced in half. This is about a cup of chopped cucumber. And I use the English cucumber. Uh, I like it the best. The long skinny one that's usually wrapped in plastic wrap. And I'm going to put uh, probably half a cup of chopped onions. This is a kind of do what you want to do. And I'm going to give this a toss and then I'll stir my tomatoes in it. Isn't it pretty? All the colors in it. And you can add more of whatever you want. I might add some more olives because it don't look to me like it has enough. Add my tomatoes in, and I may think I need a few more tomatoes. Now, I'm just going to shake some of this cavities in there. Let me see. Maybe I'll put it in my hand. That's about half of a teaspoon. Let's just see how that does. kind of clumped up in there. Okay. It's going to need some more because it needs more salt. That's probably another half of a teaspoon. Let's see how that does. That's better. Now I'm going to add my dressing. may take more, we'll see. And sometimes after it's been in the refrigerator, if it starts clumping, stir it up and add a little bit more of your dressing because the oil that's in this vinaigrette is going to um, keep it from sticking together so bad. I think that's just about perfect. It just needs to uh, sit a while and let the flavors, you know, get on the pasta and the everything kind of blend together. So I'll be back in a minute and show y'all what it looks like. And I'll, meanwhile, I'm going to taste it and make sure that everything's just perfect. And y'all will have another good dish to put in your recipe file. I'll see you back here just Here's a jiffy. Salad all stirred up and in the bowl. And I've got some plated. I'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to add a little feta cheese to the top of it. And um, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, here it is. I'll plate it up. Got a little bit of feta cheese on the top. You can see all the beautiful colors, and it tastes amazing. I wanted to show y'all. This is, um, I buy this at Costco, and it's just the crumbles. And I wanted to show you what it is that I use because I didn't show y'all this in the beginning. That's the feta crumbles that I use to put on top of this dish and others that I use feta cheese. Okay, y'all. I absolutely love soup and salad. I think y'all already know I'm a soup girl, and soup and salad is good together. So this would be good just to go along with the soup and salad meal. But I want to get a bite of this. I want a bite of everything: the cucumber, the olives, the everything. That's wonderful. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have some jalapeno bread, jalapeno cheese bread that I bought at Kroger. You know that markdown rack back there? You get some good stuff. I'm going to toast me a piece of that, and I'm going to have a piece of toast in this salad, and that's my lunch today. I hope y'all will try this one. It's a good one. It's good for any time of the year, but it's really good to put in your summertime 
uh, file for stuff that's refreshing and it'll keep in the icebox for several days and it makes a good light lunch on a hot summer day. Makes a pretty dish for a Mother's Day banquet or a gathering that you're having with your girlfriends around. Just try it. Put it wherever you want to and put whatever you want to with it. It is good stuff. The Lord bless y'all. Come right back here in a day or two and we're going to have some more good stuff. i got a lot of good recipes coming up. I'm having a good time in the kitchen. Y'all come back and join me.